Hey, welcome back. Microsoft Secure Score is a security analytics tool designed to help organizations understand what they have done to reduce the risk to their data and show them what they can do to further reduce that risk. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Security Administrator Associate certification course. After this lesson, you would be able to describe the benefits of Secure Score and what kind of services can be analyzed and describe how to collect data using Secure Score API and describe how to use the tool to identify gaps between your current state and where you would like to be with regards to security and know where to identify actions that will increase your security by mitigating risk. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Microsoft Secure Score is a measurement of an organization's security posture with a higher number indicating more improvement actions taken. Following the security score recommendation can protect your organization from threats. From a centralized dashboard in Microsoft 365 Security Center, organizations can monitor and work on security of their Microsoft 365 identities, data, apps, devices, and infrastructure. Secure Score helps organizations to report on current state of organization security posture, improve their security posture by providing discoverability, visibility, guidance, and control, and, and compare with benchmarks and establish key performance indicators as well. With Secure Score, organizations gain access to robust visualizations of metrics and trends, integration with other Microsoft products and score comparisons with similar organizations and much more. So let me show you how you can find the Secure Score dashboard. I am on my Microsoft Security Center. You can go to Security Center by going into security.microsoft.com. On the left hand side, you can click on Secure Score. And this is where you can see your Secure Score. Microsoft Secure Score is a numerical summary of your security posture based on system configurations, user behavior, and other security related measurements. It is not an absolute measurement on how likely your system or data will be breached. Rather, it represents the extent to which you have adopted security controls in your Microsoft environment, which can help offset the risk of being breached. No online service is completely immune from security breaches and secure score should not be interpreted as a guarantee against any security breach in any manner. So how does Secure Score work? You are given points for configuring recommended security features, performing security related tasks such as viewing report or addressing the improvement actions with a third party application or software. Some improvement action only give points when fully completed and some give partial points if they are completed for some devices or users. Your score is updated in real time to reflect the information presented in visualization and improvement action pages. Secure Score also syncs daily to receive system data about your achieved points for each action. Let's talk about the Secure Score dashboard. In the Microsoft Secure Score overview page, you can see how points are split between these groups and what points are available. In the Improvement Action tab, list the security recommendation that addresses possible attack surfaces along with their status, completed, not completed, resolved through third party and ignored. You can search, filter and group all the improvement actions. Ranking is based on number of remaining points left to achieve, implementation difficulty, user impact and complexity. The highest ranked improvement actions have a large number of points remaining with low difficulty, user impact, and complexity. Let's understand Secure Score API. In addition to web-based Secure Score tool, there is also Secure Score API, which is, which is fully integrated into the Microsoft Graph. This allows you customize where you would like your organization's score to be seen for aligning a dashboard to show all pertinent information. Once the Secure Score API has been set, PowerShell scripts are used to retrieve the necessary data from Secure Score. How can you improve your security posture? 
Once you have used Secure Score tool to determine the current state of your organization's security posture and identify the risk within your organization, the next step is to analyze your findings and plan how to improve your condition. During this planning process, you should consider the potential for risk, the difficulty of implementing proposed solutions, the timeframes for implementation, and the impact you are rating based on each Microsoft 365 Secure Score action. Based on a combination of these factors, you should prioritize your objectives, which will result in your roadmap to a safer, more secure environment. Please note that planning and implementation should involve all the key stakeholders in your organization, including the Chief Information Security Officer, the IT Security Manager, and administrators who manage Active Directory, Exchange, Networking, and so on. That concludes the module on Secure Score. In the next video, we are going to do a quick knowledge check on module 4. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.